Vacuum forming is an industrial process which we have the ability to do in school. You can create a whole variety of shapes, uh, either to hold things, to cover things. Here we have uh, a bug which uh, hub covers uh, electronics uh, for a light sensor. At the back you can see that there is a casing for steady hand game electronics. And at the front here uh, we have a boat. Now the boat is made of uh, two halves. And the two halves uh, have been made out of two different colours. And again they can just be used as a casing for something. Uh, in this case they are used uh, for a radio and you can see here that they, they just snap back together. Now what you need before you start is a mould. Uh, in the case of the steady hand game we have four of them um, so that we can produce four at a time. Now uh, each of these moulds has uh, two holes. Uh, the holes are used to house uh, electronic components, the LED and the switch and we'll drill those um, at a slightly later time. Uh, one thing uh, you might just be able to see there, and this close-up uh, clearly shows it, is these tiny holes. And this allows the air to be exhausted and to create a precise shape um, with no flanges uh, so that you get exactly what you, you plan. Now, at James Hornsby, we're very fortunate. We have this uh, Clark's vacuum former, um, and uh, we can vacuum form a whole variety of shapes, provided that they're no bigger than the size that you can see there at the top. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to put the mold in. So you raise the platen, uh, the mold goes in the top. You can see our four there fit quite neatly in there and then the uh, platen is then lowered uh, to the bottom of the vacuum former. What you need then is a piece of plastic and what we have um, here is a piece of rigid polystyrene. Um, this rigid polystyrene has a protective film on it, one side is dull, one side is shiny um, and we today are we're going to use the shiny side. So you place the uh, vac plastic onto the seal and you lock it down with two toggle mechanisms. Having made sure that it's absolutely locked in place, uh, you pull the heater across. Now, as you pull the heater across, the heater triggers uh, a micro switch, which in turn uh, sets off a timer on the bottom right hand side that you can see. Uh, for rigid polystyrene um, you need a time of about 30 seconds in order to make the plastic flexible sufficiently to be able to be pulled down over the mould. Um, this, this can vary, uh, you can have 2 millimetre thick, you can have half a millimetre thick. Once the plastic is heated uh, you can see there that it's quite pliable. You can then have to push the mould up into the plastic. Having pushed the mould up into the plastic you need to exhaust the air and you can see that happening now. The mould is created, the air is exhausted, a vacuum is created. Once that's, um, once the plastic has just gone off, gone hard a little bit, then what you can do is you can release the toggle switches, remove the frame and you can just pop out the mould um, ready so that it can be cut up and uh, used for housing your electronics for the steady hand game. As I said this is an industrial process but this is just one way that we can uh, introduce it uh, into schools and, um, and this is how we will be making our casing for our steady hand game.